Well, it's nice to see that Air Potato and Pee Wee still scrap each other every day. <laughs> and they clean each other, too. Look at that fluffy rocket. Pee Wee had a hurt eye yesterday, but uh, it's feeling better now. She probably just caught a rogue claw. From this guy. We're not sure, though. Didn't see it happen. When Spud climbs the tree. Oh, Bye. Yeah. Two little kittens. Let's see what they're up to. Where are our kittens? Oh, nice yawn, Firefly. Wow. Just a couple of beauties sleeping on John John the Tauntaun cat bed. And I'm wearing my new rinsed timber overalls as gifted by Linda McKee very kindly. We've got sleepy kittens. Having two, not much longer. Honeybee's paperwork is being done this afternoon at four, but we don't have a pickup date set yet. I'm sure it's coming soon. And Air Potato has his spud removal on Friday, still booked. I checked in with them. That's happening. So Firefly may be up in our house, and uh, the 24 7 live stream could be down by this weekend. We'll see. Oh, I like having friends on me. Looking good in the new colors. It'll be a bittersweet day when these two guys are gone. But we should have Firefly for a little while longer. Voker messaged me yesterday and they asked if I thought she would be good with uh, dogs who like cats. I thought she would. She's got lots of energy, but I said only if they will play with her a lot. So I don't know if anything's going to come of that. It wasn't a specific application. They were just asking me if uh, I thought she could do that. And I do think she could do that. We've had cats adopted before to houses with dogs, and uh, they've always done well. Anyway, there aren't too many poops to scoop, but I better scoop them up. Bye. Air Potato just got home from some blood work and he has some bandages we need to take off. And they're causing him to walk funny. He's got a gimpy leg from his little blood test bandages. I want to thank my Patatrian Patatrans, my Patreon supporters, who are at level two or higher, who are Air Potato community owners, because your money today went towards getting him uh, blood tests to make sure that he's good with the anesthetics. So we won't be taking any risks with our beautiful little spud. Friday wants to check out the carrier. Anyway, I better take these bandages off <laughs> before this poor guy gets uncomfortable. He was a good boy at the vet. Come here, spud. You're good. Bye. Oh. Pet Kit sent me their automated litter box the Puramax and it was pretty easy to set up but when it was time to scoop the poops I realized I wasn't needed anymore because they took our jobs take a look at this thing it's like a space capsule Peewee looks like she's pooping on the moon it's big enough for the cats to move around in and after they're done it cleans itself automatically it does this after a custom interval I set, so you can set it for like one minute or two minutes or three minutes after they use it for it to clean itself. And if the kitties approach the box while it's cleaning, it has a sensor, they can tell they're there, and it pauses. It doesn't actually seem like the movement of the litter box while it's cleaning itself would hurt a cat, but it's nice to know that it'll stop and make sure all the kitties are safe. I think that's a nice touch. One thing I didn't expect is that after they're done using it or at a set interval throughout the day, this thing has something called Smart Spray, which will automatically spray an air freshener to freshen the room after those dirty little kittens do their business. 
Overall, I didn't find this box smelly at all, and that might be because of the smart spray, but it might also just be because it scoops it into a waste bin uh, where it's kind of sealed off. Another cool thing is that the app will track the weight of each individual cat, uh, so you can enter a weight and put in a profile picture for each one of your cats, and it will track which one's going to the bathroom and for how long throughout the day. Because my three cats are similar weight, I'm not sure if it's getting it 100% right, but it's still pretty cool. And if your cats were, you know, at least half a pound apart, I don't think it would have any trouble at all because it's accurate to uh, 0.1 pound. In my house, I have multiple litter boxes, obviously having three cats. And for me, this uh, automatic box had to have its waste bin emptied every five to six days. And they're using it pretty regularly. In an ideal world, I think it would be, have a little bit bigger waste bin and could go at least a week. But the overall product looks good and it's a lot smaller than some of the other uh, robot litter boxes that I've seen uh, in my life so the footprint's easier to put in my house. Other than looking neat, the Pure Max actually makes my life easier and lets me be lazy. Because as you know, I scoop a lot of poops. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. Bye. Honeybee's just gone home. And we still have Firefly here. So I brought in Pee Wee, who's reluctant to meet her, and we have a Christmas tree tail here. An absolutely midnight black Christmas tree tail, and a ridge of fur up her back. And Pee Wee's a little bit nervous, but I was going to try to give them a cat at Creamy. See if they like that. Pee Wee! Oops, sprayed it all over the door. Would you like that, Pee Wee? Yes. Oh, isn't that nice? I know you like that. What about you, Firefly? Would you like some of that? Firefly's a little bit unsure. Here, what about a little bit on the floor? What do you think, and Pee Wee? As you can see, I sprayed it all over the door when I tried to do that. I guess the hole's a little bit small. And we're getting the two kittens to be closer together. Hey, look at that. Hey, look, a little bit more on the floor. A little bit on the floor. Oh, you guys aren't so bad, are ya? Oh, a little friendship. Oh, hey, that's fireflies. Eat yours. Come on, firefly. There you go. Some for you. Peewee's getting it all, but you're checking out Peewee, so that's okay. Look. There you go. And this is getting them closer together, so it's working. It's certainly working. Let's distract Peewee while Firefly checks her out. There's your kitten farmer. And we're going to have some together. And that's how quick it is. Doesn't take long to make friends with food. Especially the good stuff. That's almost empty. Oh, I got it all over the floor, guys. Might want to get on that. We have two happy kitties. Just a couple feet apart. Because when they're just kittens, it's easy. And Peewee's used to meeting them. She's always a little bit nervous at first. But Peewee is used to meeting other cats. So they've done well. Anyway, tomorrow when Air Potato goes in to get his neuter, then Firefly can come out in the house. Oops. <laughs> Bye.